We take very seriously our obligations, but also our natural inclinations to protect our fellow diplomats. And we will do everything we can under the law in the United States to protect them. Some of the work that we're doing to make sure that these incidents are investigated, it's at the local level where usually those investigations and those prosecutions occur. But we will leave no stone unturned. We will have no resource that we won't apply in order to make sure that this violence um, stops. You know, as a diplomat myself, we, I want to say we take very seriously our obligations, but also our natural inclinations to protect our fellow diplomats under the Vienna Convention, and also just as brothers and sisters. We spent one of the most incredible weeks of my life together with our counterparts in Washington, um, agreeing to more than 100 tangible improvements in the lives of Americans and Indians. And those people that do this critical work cannot be attacked, threatened, uh, cannot see firebombs or um, uh, acts of arson uh, in the places that they go and work. They are people with families, they are individuals, and we will do everything we can under the law in the United States to protect them. I also have a different perspective or a good perspective as a former mayor that much of our law enforcement happens at the local level. So while our national authorities, our FBI, our State Department are taking these threats extremely seriously, whether it's uh, going to Twitter and making them take down, asking them to take down uh, any threatening language, whether it is the work that we're doing to provide protection to the individuals and to the physical locations of uh, the Indian consulates and embassy, uh, or whether it's some of the work that we're doing to make sure that these incidents are investigated. It's at the local level where usually those investigations and those prosecutions occur. And I hope that in the case of San Francisco, where we did see a second physical act. It's one thing to say uh, ideas. It's another thing when you threaten people, throw gasoline or incendiary devices into an area. And um, clearly that's what happened in San Francisco. So I called directly the police chief of San Francisco who used to work for me when I was mayor of Los Angeles in the Los Angeles Police Department, and the mayor of San Francisco who's a friend, and had very good conversations with them about putting all the resources in to protect Indians working on behalf of India and Indians in the United States in San Francisco and to investigate and to try to bring to justice. Uh, when this happened earlier, people were masked up. It was very difficult to find out their identities, but we will, uh, we will leave no stone unturned. We will have no resource that we won't apply in order to make sure that this violence um, stops and that people pay the price. And I think the best incentive to prevent future violence is for people to know their consequences to these acts. So we are very focused on this. I just actually came from um, an interaction with the State Department on this just before. Um, and we are also working across international lines with our counterparts in other countries where these threats have been made. Australia, Canada, UK, and elsewhere. Subscribe to Midday India. Get direct notifications on all our videos by clicking on the bell icon.